Hey guys, what's up? Once again, it is mp4podcast.com. Just to give you guys a heads up, this video is not gaming related. What I'm going to do is talk about one of my passions, which is photography. And I want to talk about Olympus. I'm a little bit disappointed in the new Olympus camera, which just came out a couple of days ago, I guess. It is the OMD EM1. And what I'm disappointed in this camera is that when you're buying this camera, you're pretty much only buying it for photography. Uh, a lot of people will be like, well, what's the problem about that? You know, it's a camera, you're buying it for photography. A lot of the DSLRs and mirrorless cameras have gotten very popular for also video. And the reason why these cameras have gotten very popular for video is because they have a large sensor and you can get that cinematic look with a very cheap camera and you don't have to go out and buy a red one or uh, you know a, a Canon C300 or a Sony FS700 which are you know fifteen or seven thousand five thousand dollars you can get something for around a thousand dollars and buy some cheap lenses and so on the problem with Olympus is they have been I don't know what's going on with this company they still only offer 30 frames per second for their cameras which is really sad because they do have a really good sensor in their camera. They're using uh, Sony CMOS sensors, which have really good color reproduction. But it just seems that I don't know what's going on with this company. Every other company offers almost every single frame rate in uh, you know their part of the world, or they offer multiple frame rates. Just to give you an example, Canon offers both NTSC and PAL frame rates. So doesn't Nikon. Even Pentax does now. Pentax was horrible. Uh, Sony, if you live in North America or Japan, you're going to get NTSC frame rates. If you're in Europe, you're going to get PAL frame rates. So that's something to think about. I do know that a lot of European filmmakers still like to film in 24 frames per second in case they're going to have a national release. Like if they need uh, to bring their movie over here to North America, uh, our TV sets don't uh, have support for 20, uh, 24 frames per second, but PAL TVs um, will do 24 and 25 and so on. But I'm getting a little bit off topic. Even Panasonic cameras now are starting to offer both NTSC and PAL frame rates. I do know that the, um, I, I believe the Panasonic GX7 offers all the frame rates. I saw a review of this camera. I believe the gentleman was from the UK. It just doesn't have the 60p, but it does have 50p, but it offers 24p, 30p, and so on. And, you know, it's a really good deal because this camera from Panasonic is one, it's micro four thirds, right? So it's the same as the Olympus. Um, Panasonic is really stepping up their game. They're fixing their JPEG engine. Their JPEG engine before was pretty crappy. Um, their raw files are good. And their video is really good. And also, the, the thing that was where Olympus really had an advantage on of was that they had the Im image stabilization built into the body. So the sensor would shift it when, you know, it, it, there was a little bit of a shake. The great thing about that is that if you have old lenses and you have an adapter, like I use old Minolta lenses, those <laughs> I have image stabilization on lenses that are like, 30 years old or so, or 25 years old. They're my dad's lenses. Um, but now Panasonic is offering that in the Panasonic GX7 with multiple frame rates. So there's less to get in the Olympus. So Olympus, I, I'm really hoping that you maybe listen to this video or so on, and please do a firmware update to offer more frame rates. Another thing I would really like to see from Olympus is a better codec for video. They're using Motion JPEG. And from what I've heard, that Motion, motion JPEG isn't even a real video co codec. What it is, is it's a bunch of JPEGs kind of like stitched together or so on. Panasonic offers AVC HD and also... Uh, I think it's, they call it iframe or whatever. It's like uh, the GH3 has it. And I know it's, you know, the, the type of file. It's MOV. But it's a certain type of file where every file, every v image is a separate. And it's not like whatever. I'm not like a video expert when it comes to those things. But 
Olympus, please start to offer multiple frame rates because the way you're going right now is you're, you're not offering a good enough camera for me to spend a thousand dollars on. You know, we're probably a year away from the GH4 and uh, maybe they're going to call it the GH5 because in Japan the number 4 is considered a bad luck number. Now I know the PlayStation 4 is going to be PS4 but that's because that's a very big product. They can probably get away with it with these small cameras. Let's call it number 5 and so on. But once the new GH camera comes out, if it offers bought in in body image stabilization, you know, and their lenses, some of their lenses have uh, image stabilization as well. You can get the best of both worlds from Panasonic. Sometimes, sometimes image stabilization is better in the lens. Sometimes image stabilization is better in the body, especially if you have older lenses. Sometimes they can really optimize image stabilization if they put it in the lens that's made for that lens and so on. So Olympus, please, please listen to us. We want multiple frame rates. We want better codecs for video. We think you're doing a great job when it comes to stills. And also, you know, just to let you know, I'm not an Olympus hater. One of my pictures that I took, uh, taken with my Olympus EPL1 has gone around over 400,000 400, views. It's around 450,000 views or so on. It's a cosplay of a girl that was doing um, the new Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider game that came out in April. Um, she was in cosplay and it just blew up when she posted it on Reddit. So that's my take on the Olympus, um, you know, what they're doing over there. Uh, if you're into photography or if you're into cameras at all, let me know what you think about Olympus only offering 30 frames per second. I think it's pretty sad that that's all they're offering. Meanwhile, every other single brand that's out there is doing a much better job with multiple frame rates. So anyway, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. You guys have yourself an awesome day. Later, guys. Bye.